Hi Eileen, on this question you have about problem 7 in section 7.3 and you said when the question does not provide the standard deviation how do I find it in StatCrunch? Okay, let's look at the problem and I think this is the one and it is a question in which they want you to use uh, a distribution to determine whether or not the sample supports a claim that the mean salary is 22350 And they tell us to assume the population is normally distribu distributed. Um, there, are, there are two things that we need to first think about. One, we only have 10 uh, values in our sample. So that's a lot less than 30. So that would tell me that I probably want to use the T distribution for this particular question. And I'm, first thing I wanted to do is this, let's just look at the first part of the question. What are the uh, null and the alternative? Since the claim is that the mean is 22,000, in other words, the mean salary equals 22,350, that means it has to be the null. The null always has the equality. The alternative always has the inequality. So if the, the mean is 22,000, that means the null is mu is equal to 22,350. And if we look down here and you pick the right one, mu is equal to 22,350, that is the claim. And the alternative has to be the complement, which would be not equal to 22. 350. Because we've got a not equal in the alternative, that tells us we have a two-tailed test. A two-tailed test. And I think that's the reason that you missed this problem there. You've got a value of 2.821 to minus 2.821. So let's I'm check. I want to bring up StatCrunch. And we can do that here because we've got data and we got the little icon. I'm going to open that in StatCrunch and bring that up. And the first thing I want to do is try to find this critical value of T. So we go to Stat, T Stats, I'm sorry, Calculators, T Calculator. And we get this calculator. Uh, we want to use the standard because we're, we're not doing a between we're trying to find the critical value of T. The degrees of freedom is equal to N minus 1. We've got 10 values of in the sample, so that's N, so our degrees of freedom is 9. The alpha is 0.01. Because we have a two-tail test, that means each tail has half of 0.01 or 0.005 and I'm going to click on compute and we can see that the left tail, the lower tail uh, that has 0.005 probability or the area under the curve of 0.005 is a T of minus 3.2498 or 2.0 I'm sorry, 3.250, rounding it off. And that is the answer they had, minus and negative. And, of course, you can check the other side by putting the 0.005 in again. And there again is your positive uh, T critical of 3.250. So that's how they got that. Let me see. If I, if I put in 0.01... What do I get? 2.821. And I think that's what you got. So what you forgot to do was since you've got a two-tailed test, you got to divide alpha by 2 to get the critical value. Okay, let's solve the next part of this. And we're going to go to stat, T stats, one sample with data. And we bring up this dialog box. And 
our data is in the column labeled variable one so we select that just double click on it and then down here we can leave the where and group by alone we've got to set up our hypothesis tests mu is 22350 we make sure that alpha is the complement which is the not equal and I'm going to click on p-value, I'm sorry, p-value plot just to give us a little more information here and click on compute and we let me bring this up here so we can see a little bit better make it a little bit bigger bring that chart over there and spread this out here okay the results of the one sample hypothesis, t hypothesis test for mu equal to 22,350 and the alternative mu not equal we get there's our degrees of freedom who said nine and we get a t stat of minus 0.6313 or rounding to minus 0.631 and I'm pretty sure yeah minus 0.63 is what they came up with see what did you come up with 190 I have no idea how you did that I think um, but anyway we, we've got our critical value I'm sorry our value of our T statistic of minus 0.63 we've got a p-value here of 0.5435 which tells us that the test is not significant and therefore we would not reject or we failed to reject the null hypothesis so uh, let's just check something here I, I got it to give us this p-plot and this shows the values from the T statistics minus 6.3 and that shows the positive side but this is the area under the curve to the left of our test statistic and you can see it's a lot larger than the critical area over here in this test you can just see the critical area there again believes it begins at minus 3.25 our t value here is minus 0.63 so that's definitely not in the rejection zone so we fail to reject both things tell us to fail to reject the uh, the null we bring this down here and do the last part um, what do we decide to do? We fail to reject the null because the test statistic is not in the rejection region. And also, StatCrunch gave us a p value, which was greater than alpha, much, much greater, which also says do not reject. We fail to reject. So the last part is interpret the decision. And you got it right. And the claim was the null we do not reject the null we fail to reject the null therefore there's insufficient evidence to reject the claim so that makes sense so i hope this helps eileen i forgot to answer your basic question how do you solve this without the standard deviation being given and again they don't give us a standard deviation but they give you the data and when you use StatCrunch with the raw data to solve the T uh, hypothesis tests, StatCrunch calculates the standard deviation from this data. And it, it doesn't show it to you, I don't think. Let me go back. No, it, it doesn't give you the standard deviation. It gives you the standard error that you can uh, back calculate. But trust me, uh, StatCrunch was calculated, did calculate the standard deviation and used it in this T hypothesis test. And if you're curious about it, you can calculate that standard deviation yourself. Um, let's just go to, to stat again, summary stats, column, variable one, and I'm just going to select standard deviation this time, compute, and there you have the standard deviation if you're trying to solve this thing longhand. Mm -hmm.